Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I am back with another brand new VR game here called Resident Evil 4 Remake for the PSVR 2. I've jumped right in and wasted no time with boring intros or anything like that. So here we are. I've turned off the motion sickness kind of cone of vision or whatever you get, which was on by default. I just don't like the way that looks on footage ever. And we're going to see how scary this game is, if it is at all. I don't know why that door is moving. Got blood and gore right off the get-go. Uh, if you're wondering, this is a free add-on if you've got the game for PS5. You do not need to pay anything. Uh, it's not, you know, it's technically, I guess, a DLC, but it's free. So it looks like some doors... And I did actually try this earlier, just to make sure everything's working. And Anyone some doors home? that you open... I heard something. Are kind of cutscene-ish. That one wasn't. There's a quick turn, taking advantage of it, I guess. Um, because I'm corded, I'm not on my wireless uh, Vive. Turn a little bit, I guess. I believe that needs a yeah, it needs a key. And cutscenes, you go to a big screen like this. Uh, I'm not sure what it looks like on the footage, but you are not in first person during such cutscenes. Sorry to barge in like this. Busco a un Felicia. Vino aquí. I'm kind of glad, kind of glad you're not in first person during events like this, although it's probably going to get a lot worse. A lot worse anyway, that is. Um, and I skipped the... The Hunter Lodge key. I skipped the intro. Like I said, I just didn't, I just wanted to jump right into gameplay. Um, so that police badge, if you've played this game, may look familiar. Dead bunny. Alright. There is a sprint. That's, I mean, this is pretty quick. Um, and the scene that's going to come up eventually... I have a story to tell about that, where you're running around in the village where the guy's burnt at the stake. And you've got to survive, and I'll tell you about that in a second. And you cannot use save points from the flat version to play in VR. You have to start new. It's got its own saves. Hey. I read you. 
situation. There we go, now I'm facing forward, it looks like, for the camera. So now we're going to get to weapons. There was a tutorial at the beginning, a brief one. Is it? Are we... And it had the thing where you got to hold down the uh, R1, I believe, which is like the grip button. And I didn't like that, so I did it a toggle where you just click it once. You can still accidentally drop it. Oh wait, there's a part here that I need to hot. Yeah. First gun usage. This just keeps getting worse. Let me drop the clip. Do I have more ammo? Yeah. Oh yeah, if you use okay, no, it just recycled the same clip. Uh, you can just drop your gun and it'll Go right back into your holster automatically. Hopefully I got all the loot. Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? President's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. I gotta go. Talk later. Myself out. I was wondering if there's a door, if I could like go back in there and just take those guys out, but this is survival horror, so you gotta conserve. Wow, this is pretty nice looking. The one thing when I was trying this out a little earlier is busting out the knife when you get that cue to stab one of the dudes after they're like knocked down or whatever is tough because I think you have to actually grab the knife and then swing and it just tells you to press R2 or L2. So. I saw someone and I hear them. I hear them. So that's how you reload. 
just like that. So we'll see if I get an opportunity to use a knife here, because yeah, there's two dudes here. Okay, you can melee. Oh, nice, I got both of them. That's not, oh shoot, I opened the inventory on accident. Okay, I get a breather at least. Yeah, that's not how you're supposed to do those finishers. Let's see what happens. Did I do it? Nice. I know I didn't do it right because I was doing like multiple slashes. It's supposed to be like a one shot, right? And then it uses the knives. What am I doing? Uses the knives uh, like health bar or durability. Did I get everything? Like I'm survival horror. I'm like paranoid. Of, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Gotta get everything. Damn it. Not a puzzle. All right, all right. All right. So if you've played this game, you know this part can be pretty hectic.
climb this. <laughs> 